Hey Southsiders, Blueprint Girl here, your one and only source into the scandalous lives of Mustangs Elite. Today we're gonna switch it up a bit. Instead of dishing the latest gossip, we're gonna cover the do's and don'ts of colons. So first we're gonna start off with a common misconception. Not to be confused with the semicolon, which can also be used to join two main clauses, only a colon can be used to join a main clause with a noun. Some of the basic facts regarding the colons are that colons can be used interchangeably with dashes. Colons also tend to be more formal than a dash. They also tend to be less dramatic than a dash. And their most common use is with a list. When using a list, you can't separate a verb from its direct object or a preposition from its object of the preposition. So now we're going to get into some examples with a colon. For the meeting taking place next period, you will need the following items. A pen, a notebook, a laptop, and water. So that you would use a colon with because you are listing items. I knew one thing for certain. I was going to win that game. This situation you would use a colon because you're using it as a more formal version of the dash. So now some examples where you wouldn't use a colon. I love hanging out with my family, friends, and dogs. You wouldn't use a colon here because it would separate a verb from its direct object. If you're looking for a place to go on vacation, I've been to Jamaica, Mexico, and Costa Rica. This you wouldn't use a colon with either because it would separate the preposition from its object of the preposition. So the big takeaways are make sure you know when to use a semicolon versus a colon. Don't forget to keep an eye on your comma use when listing items and always check the AP style book, your mechanics packet, or this video if you're unsure. XOXO, Blueprint Girl.